And now, the Mickey Mouse Club presents The New Adventures of Spin and Marty. Today's episode, Dynamite Strikes Back. Brings you over to our fair city this fine morning. We heard you brought dynamite in, and Miss Adams gave us permission to come and have a look at him. We didn't exactly bring him in. He came of his own accord. Chase Perkins halfway across the range. Oh. He just opened the corral gate, and that was that. Poor Perkins. He always seems to be getting into <laughs> trouble. Marty's going to try his hand at taming him. Tame dynamite? Oh, how thrilling. Oh, come along. He's down there already. Oh, fine. humor any better today, Hank? Nope. Worse. <coughs> he knows we're up to something, a rascal. Yeah, well, take it easy. Don't worry, I will. You sure you don't want me to help you? I can handle this better by myself, Hank. Annette! Hi, Spin. Hi, Marty. Hi. Hi, Hi Darlene. Hi. Hi, Annette. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Ambitious. So isn't dynamite beautiful? That's about the most horse I've ever seen packed into one hide in the cussedest. And Marty's gonna bust him. Bust him? Yeah, you know, cool him off. Yeah, if he doesn't get cooled off first. <laughs> Gee, Marty, you're terribly brave. Oh, he's not so bad. Well, I don't know. Remember how he chased my horse last year and made her run away? I sure do. And you caught her before she could throw me. No, I didn't. You had your horse under control before I could even get there. Yeah, you know, you're pretty handy with a horse yourself. Thanks, Finn. But you did chase dynamite off. Uh-uh. That was Spin. Look, I hate to break up this mutual admiration society, but if you're going to get going, Marty, you better get with it. Right. Just fine. Yes, sir. Now, if you'll just listen to reason, there's not going to be any trouble at all. I could do better than that. Look out, Marty! Let him go! Look out! 
Confounded horse. It wasn't his fault, Mr. Logan. Hank scared him. I told you to stay out of the corral, Hank. Well, I was just trying to... Oh! What's the matter? My ankle must have twisted it when I fell. I hope it isn't busted. No, I just twisted it. Oh! We'd better get a hold of Doc Spaulding. I'll call him. Tell him to hurry. Yes, sir. He's in Poor Marty. Thanks, Mooch. Heard anything about Marty yet? Nope. I hope it's not broken. You and me both. It just goes to show. It doesn't pay to have too much ambition. Only gets you into trouble. Poor Marty. He was doing so well. Yeah, he was going great guns till Hank went in there. Doggone him anyway, spoiling everything. Well, that's the trouble with adults. They never think kids can do anything on their own. That's what I'm always telling my folks. The way they treat us, you think we're four-year-olds. Hurts, hmm? A little. Pretty badly swollen, is it, Doc? Mm-hmm. Is it broken? No, it's just a bad sprain. Oh, thank heaven. Well, uh, you're gonna have to stay off of this for a while, son. How long? A couple of weeks, maybe longer, depending on how soon the swelling goes down. Oh, no. Don't worry, Marty. We'll see to it you don't get bored. Indeed, we will, Master Martin. We'll have a few hot games of chess. Eh, hey, what? Oh, goody, good. Fine brawn buster I turned out to be. Now, Marty, don't go blaming yourself. It's all my fault. I had no business letting you tangle with that owner, Brock. Damn, I didn't mean to hurt me, Mr. Logan. He just got excited when he saw Hank come into the corral. Well, he could have kicked you in the middle of kingdom come. I have a mind to turn him loose. Oh, don't do that, Mr. Logan. He'll be all right. Just give him a little time. I ought to give him a good dose of buckshot. That's what I ought to do. Oh, no, he's too good a horse to throw away. He's smart. He'll wise up to himself as soon as he finds out we mean business. There you are. That feel better? Much better. It's not too tight. No, it's OK. Good. Now, you better lie down and get some rest. You had quite a shock. Oh, I'm all right. Now, uh, you just do what the doc says. I'm going to sleep over there on the couch where I can keep an eye on you. Turn down the blanket, Spin. Gosh, you sure are taking a long time. Must be pretty bad. Maybe he's killed. For heaven's sakes, Moochie, do you have to say things like that? Well, too bad he didn't fall on his head like Spin did last year. He wouldn't have got hurt. Well? Everything's under control. Oh, God. His leg's not busted? No, he just got a sprained ankle. But he'll have to stay off it for a while. Ah, oh, gee, that's a jip. Can we see him? Not right now, Joe. Dr. Spaulding wants him to take a little siesta. Isn't there anything we can do, Mr. Burnett? Thanks, Annette. Not a thing. Uh, maybe Miss Adams will let you ride over and see him tomorrow. Well, that'll be keen. We'll bring him something to read. Yeah, I just got a couple of new books for my mom. They're rather adult, but I think Marty will like them. Can I read them, too? We'll bring you some Mickey Mouse comic books, Mooch. Hot dog. Well, I guess we'd better be going now. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, Darlene. Bye. There you go. Sit back. Oh, will you quit fussing over me, Spin? Well, it isn't every day you sprain your ankle. Maybe you'd like to have a little lunch before you uh, take your nap. It'll be all right, wouldn't it, Doc? Why not? Nothing's the matter with the stomach. <laughs> Good. I've just whipped up a positively ravishing salad, sir. I'll pop over to the kitchen and fetch it. Ah, uh, just a minute, Perkins. Spin can take care of that. I think you better call Marty's grandmother and tell her what happened. Yes, sir. I suppose I should. Oh, no. She'll make me come home. I'm sorry, Marty. Gee, Mr. Logan, do you have to? You know the rules, Spin. Nonsense. There's no sense in upsetting her. Nothing the matter with the boy a little time won't take care of. 
I know, Doc, but we've got a rule to report all accidents and mishaps to the boys' parents or guardians immediately. Well, it's a pretty good rule. Well, you just stay in bed. I'll be in a couple of days and see how you are. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Bye Doc. Bye, Doctor. Gosh, Mr. Logan, do you have to tell Graham I'm all right? And this happened just when we were having some fun. Now, Spin, you know better than that. You better get on the phone and get it off your chest. Oh, dear. Dear, dear. Well, sir, here we go again. Next episode, Spin Takes Over.